MATLAB is one of the most important applications for big data analysis, simulations, computational biology, engineering control systems, and so forth. All sorts of high-level technical computing and scientific computing is done in the MATLAB program. So having a good grasp of the MATLAB environment and the MATLAB programming language and how to problem solve using MATLAB code is really important. It's going to help you in your studies, it's going to help you get a job, and it's going to help you perform your job really well. However, MATLAB is not a free program, and that's fine. A lot of people all around the world put a lot of work and time and effort into making MATLAB be such a great and complete program. But it also means that not everyone has access to MATLAB, or maybe you have access to MATLAB at university or at work or on a different computer, but not on your own personal computer. Maybe you don't have MATLAB at home. So it becomes a little more difficult for you to practice MATLAB to improve your programming skills. So for this, many people turn to a program called Octave. Octave is a software platform that runs MATLAB functions it looks quite a bit like MATLAB, and it basically emulates not everything that MATLAB can do, but almost everything that MATLAB can do. The great thing about Octave is that it's free. It runs on all desktop operating systems, including Windows and all flavors of Linux and also Mac. Octave is great for learning how to program in MATLAB because you don't need a license for Octave. You don't need to sign up, you don't need to register, you don't need to pay money or have a credit card. You just download and install it. However, it used to be the case, like what you see here in this window, that you actually needed to download the Octave package and install it locally on your computer. Now, sometimes this is advantageous, for example, if you don't have reliable access to the internet. But maybe you only want to use Octave a little bit, or maybe you don't have a lot of hard disk space, and maybe you don't have a lot of RAM on your computer. The full Octave package requires over two gigabytes of space on your computer. Maybe you're using a tablet or some other mobile device where it's not possible or even feasible to install a big program like Octave. Now, if this describes your situation, then Octave Online is probably the right choice for you. That is the main point of this course, to introduce you to Octave Online. Now, this is not Octave Online. This is Octave Offline. So before switching to the online version of Octave, I want to introduce you to the regular locally installed desktop version. So here you can see MATLAB and Octave side by side. I have the same script open on both of these cases. You can see the color preferences are different. I like to have MATLAB with a dark background and light text. And Octave, I actually just leave as the default colors. And that's because I don't really use Octave. I keep it around to introduce for teaching methods. But that's just color, that doesn't matter. Otherwise, the functionality is really similar. So this is some code that corresponds to my signal processing course. And this is one script which introduces you to a particular type of filter called a windowed sync filter. Now the details don't matter. The only thing that matters is that there's a lot of code in here. So there's around 140 lines of code. And what I'm going to do is run this entire script by pressing F5 on my keyboard. That's going to run through all the code in the script and it generates a couple of figures. So this shows figures of two different variants of this filter kernel. This shows the power spectrum, so what the filter looks like in the frequency domain. And here you see some other stuff. This is a time series and it's smoothed by the filter and so on. Some more spectral characteristics with different kinds of windows applied to the filter. Again, these details don't really matter. What I'm gonna do now is run exactly the same script, exactly the same code in Octave. Also, I'm gonna press F5 on my keyboard to run the entire figure. And you can see that it produced the same figures that we got in MATLAB. So let's see, this figure corresponds to this one in MATLAB, and then this one is, oops, I'll zoom out here. This figure corresponds to this figure, and here is figure one in MATLAB and figure one in Octave. Okay, so this is just a quick demonstration that 
nearly everything you can do in MATLAB, you can also do in Octave. Okay, now I'm going to switch to an internet browser. So here's my internet browser, and I went to this website, octave-online.net. So Octave Online with a dash in between and then .net. Now this is great. I'm going to show you in this course that over the next several videos how you can use Octave Online to learn how to program in MATLAB. And the great thing about using octaveonline.net is that you don't need to download anything onto your computer. You don't need to install anything. So this is something that will work from your phone. It will work from your tablet. It will work from your small travel laptop and of course it will work from a big powerful desktop as well but the key advantage is that you can learn how to use matlab learn how to program in matlab and become a better matlab programmer using octave online without having to download or install anything now at this point i want to mention explicitly that i do not work for octave i'm not paid by octave they have never approached me. They've never asked me to do promotions or marketing. I'm making these videos in this course because I think that Octave in general and Octave Online in particular is a really useful way to improve your programming skills and gain MATLAB expertise, even if you don't have access to MATLAB and without having to download or install anything. All right, in the next video, I'm going to start introducing you to this website and how to use it.